In this video, we're going to take a closer look at Adobe Connect meeting room templates. I say meeting room templates because these are different from the event templates that you create for Adobe Connect events. Meeting room templates are basically predefined meetings so that as you create a brand new meeting room, it's based off of a template that already exists. It'll take on the look and the feel of that template and any content that's included in that template will automatically be included in the brand new room that you're creating. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to create a new meeting room. We'll give this a name. I'll call this my meeting template room. Use the custom URL of template one. And here you'll notice I've got the ability to select a template. This is something that you've used with Adobe Connect even if you don't know about it. There's at least three templates that should be available. These are the three templates that ship with Adobe Connect. I've got a default meeting template, which is the default as you're creating a new meeting room. I've got a default training template, which should be the default if you're creating a new virtual classroom, and a default event template, which you can use if you're holding a webinar or other large event. You can actually create your own templates, and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Before I do though, let me just go ahead and create a new meeting room based on the default meeting template. I'll click on the finish button and then enter the meeting room. And what I'm seeing here shouldn't surprise anybody who's ever created a brand new Adobe Connect meeting room before. It's a standard room with the three standard templates, one for sharing, discussion, and one for collaboration. Now let me exit this meeting room, close my browser window, and head back to my meetings tab and create a brand new meeting this time we'll call it my training template room and call the URL template2 and we'll base this now on the training template. I'll just set my audio conferencing settings here, click finish, and once again enter the meeting room. Now we're in the brand new meeting room once again, but you'll notice the layouts to the side are completely different. Instead of a sharing, discussion, and collaboration layout, I've got a lobby layout, a classroom layout, and an analysis layout. Now there's no additional functionality here. These are just different arrangements of pods that we've defined for the system templates inside of Adobe Connect but you can create your own. So if I want to adjust my own template, create my own template, I can do so by changing it up, changing what these layouts look like. Let me go ahead, for example, and delete this analysis layout. I'm going to add a new layout. Uh, let's create one completely from scratch. We'll call it uh, Q&A. And I'll click OK. It's going to be at the bottom of my layouts. Uh, this is something that persists the order of the layouts the content that you've got within your within your layouts so i can go ahead and populate this blank stage now uh, this is a q a layout so i'll go ahead and add let's say a chat pod so people can ask questions we'll make that a lot bigger the other thing i might want to do is ask some predefined questions so i'll add a couple of polls Okay, so I've just created a new layout. Um, let's go ahead and make one more change. I'll go to the lobby layout. Uh, let's get rid of this share pod. Move this chat way up and add a new note pod to welcome everybody to the classroom. We'll even make that text a lot bigger, bolder and bluer. Okay, so I've just changed up my meeting room and this meeting room was based on another template. And that's okay, I want to take these changes and create my own custom template based on these changes. So to do that, I can close my meeting room whenever I'm happy with it. I should make sure I'm on the layout that I want to start with whenever we create a brand new meeting room. Uh, so I've started here on the lobby layout, that's my active layout as I leave this meeting room. I'll close the browser. I'm going to go back to my meetings tab and this will show me my list of meetings and here's the one that we just created it's called my training template room if I want to turn this into a template that I can reuse over and over again I can simply move it into the my templates folder so to do that I'd click on the checkbox beside it 
I'd click on the Move button, and then I'd choose the My Templates folder. So now that I'm in My Templates, I'll click on the Move button, confirm that by clicking OK, and now you'll see it's no longer available in my list of meetings. But if I created a new meeting, which I'll do right now, I'll call this my new virtual classroom, even though this is a meeting, class 5 as the URL, you'll notice I've actually got a fourth option here. Instead of the three, or in addition to the three default system templates, I've got my own custom template, my training room, my, te my training template room. I can select that as my template now. Go ahead and click on the Finish button. And as I enter this meeting room, you'll notice it'll be based off of the brand new template that we just created. So that meeting room has just opened up. This is a brand new meeting room. We haven't just opened up the old meeting room, but because this meeting room was based on the old meeting room, all of the layouts that I created are still here. Even the content, like the note inside of the notes pod, even the color and the styling, uh, it persists because it's part of the template. You'll notice I've got a lobby, classroom, and Q&A. That was that custom template that we created. As I move to that, I've got the two poll pods and the chat pod. So we can create these rooms and turn them into templates so that we can reuse them more easily over and over again. Now, let me close this and take a look again at that template. It's in my Meetings folder, in the My Templates folder. And the name of that, My Templates, may give you a hint that this is something that only I can access. If I want everybody to be able to access this, so anybody in my organization who's creating a new meeting room, uh, if I want to give them the ability to create a new meeting room based on this template, I need to move it into the shared templates folder. Now to do that, I will need administrative access. This is not something that your average meeting host is able to do, and that's certainly on purpose. But if I do have the correct administrative access, I can go ahead and move this out of my templates into the shared templates folder. Let me show you what that looks like. I'm going to click on the checkbox beside the name of the meeting template, click on the Move button, and now move from the user meetings over to the shared templates directory. Now we'll click on the move button. Confirm that by clicking OK. And it's now a template that anybody is able to access. So if I create a brand new meeting room and scroll down to the select template dropdown, you'll notice that this my training template room is now in the shared templates folder so anybody will be able to access But there's still one more step before we're completely done. I've moved that meeting into the shared templates folder, but the permissions assigned to that meeting template still apply to me. So just to make sure this is going to work for everybody, I'm going to move from the My Meetings tab into the Shared Meetings tab. And you'll see here I've got access to the shared templates folder. Again, I need administrative access to do that. I'm going to click on the My Training Template Room. That's the new template that we just created. I'm going to click on Edit Participants. And I'm just going to make sure that any meeting host in the system is able to access this. So I'm going to take the meeting hosts group and move it over to the current participants list. And this will just give anybody the ability to use this and actually edit the meeting room. Now we're done. Now I've created a brand new template that's available to everybody on the system. That's a quick look at using templates inside of Adobe Connect.